How do we withdraw our Solana from the validator if we want it back in our wallet as normal salt? Just click on the stake account and then click unstake. Now it says Sol unstaked. It is currently deactivating. It will continue to deactivate until the end of the epoch. If we go to solanabeach.io, we can easily see a visualization of when the epoch is going to end. So in approximately 52 minutes, the epoch will end. It will then say deactivated and we can withdraw. Also, when the next epoch begins, this will say active. It will change from activating to active, and then it will start accruing staking rewards. Just as a reminder, an epoch takes about two and a half days, and you can unstake or stake at any stage during this entire epoch. We'll wait 50 minutes, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so the epoch has now changed over to 483, so we can just click on our Solana, and then our stakes, and we can see the middle one is inactive. This will not withdraw automatically into your Solana balance. It always requires a separate action. Just simply withdraw stake and close. As you can see, we got our one soul back, which includes the rent, and we had a small reward from the previous epoch. And there's the balance there. So that's how you withdraw your stake. Just remember, it's always a two part process. Deactivate the stake and then withdraw the stake in the next epoch. In the intermediate course, we'll go over using different liquid staking tokens, where we still get staking rewards, but we can use the tokens in other ways, such as Soul Blaze, Gito Soul, Lido Soul, and Marinade Soul. So watch out for that video when it's released. But now next tutorial, we're gonna be diving into the Soul Block Explorer, Soul Scan. Stay curious, and we'll see you in that video.